my name is Sarah Tavender and I'm a volunteer with the Early Learning Coalition of North Florida. Today I want to talk to you about using photo, mostly photographs of your children to make classroom books for your bookshelf. Um, one of the things that I like to do at the very beginning of the year is take a photo of the children going through the routine of our day and so um, this one I entitled Our Day at School and um, I just went through morning circle and playtime and snack time and playing outside time and working on math time. And um, then I like to send this home with each child. And then when you get it back after, after every child has had a turn, then you can put it on your bookshelf. And um, the, the children really enjoy looking at it and seeing their pictures. So um, that a, a variation of that would be having a little bit later in the year after you've been through a few weeks of school having the children tell you their favorite part of the day and taking a picture of them just you know somebody likes play-doh and taking a picture oh there's play-doh <laughs> taking a picture of that child doing play-doh taking a picture of that one child swinging on the swing whatever they they tell you and then that would be what your book would be about our favorite parts of school or um, you know whatever title you think of so um, then another variation of that is having each child write a page, um, draw a picture, and tell you their favorite part of school and draw a picture of that. This is written a long time ago in very light marker and it's, not, it's kind of faded. But this child just said, I like school. Another child said, I like to play in the sand. And then they drew their picture. So those are um, all variations of that same theme of having going through the routine of your day. Um, then um, I also, I like to focus on books, of course, and so I like to, um, this, this book was very simple, and I just called it We Like Books, and I took a picture of every child looking at a book, and I said, Caitlin likes books, Hunter likes books, and um, I also included myself and my assistant in there, so the teachers are in there, Miss Sarah likes books, Miss Jackie likes books, and um, then another, a variation of that would be um, picking, having each child a little bit later in the year when you've read quite a few books, let each child pick their favorite book and um, entitle it Our Favorite Books. And then Brayden's favorite book is The Five Little Pumpkins and take a picture of each child um, with their favorite book. And so that's another great classroom book. So um, another thing that I like to do for classroom books is taking, taking photographs of a process of doing something. Um, cooking is a really good process, but uh, one, I don't have a copy of it, but one that we did, I, we made a giant dinosaur, um, and it was down on the floor, all cut out, and the children all painted it, and I have a process of all of the pictures of the children painting the dinosaur, and then for our small group time, everybody cut out a, a triangle to make the plates, so it turned into a stegosaurus, and so that was a process book, and everybody's picture was in it. When you're making classroom books with their photographs, make sure you include every child. <laughs> um, here's another process one of um, cooking is another great process activity. Um, probably not cooking right now with um, cooking <laughs> food, um, but here's um, a, a process of all of the children measuring the water and the flour to make the gingerbread cookies. And again, their photographs and the words, um, you know, using their names and actually what they're doing. So, um, and then one of my personal favorites is making Play-Doh, and hopefully you can still do that now because you're not going to eat it. But <laughs> um, And then again, each child measuring the salt, measuring the flour, and stirring it up to make the Play-Doh. Um, I tied this one into um, this particular time I did it. Sometimes we just make Play-Doh, and that's a great process too. But I tied this one. We made blue Play-Doh and yellow Play-Doh, and then we read several Pete the Cat stories. And at the end, I have pictures of the children making their Pete the Cats with the blue and yellow Play-Doh. And I gave them the option. Um, some of them did made surfboards and made different things in the different Pete the Cat stories, but I also gave them the option if they wanted four buttons that they could do Pete the Cat and his four groovy buttons. That was one of the stories that we read. So I got some great Pete the Cats out of the blue and yellow Play-Doh. So again, these books go on your bookshelf and the children love to look at them and read them. And um, I promise you they will be among the most read and looked at books on your shelf. And they, when in doing this activity, you are following all of the early learning standards for literacy um, for Florida. 
So um, I hope you'll create your own ideas based on the photographs and have fun with it. And we'd also like to throw in there to please subscribe to the Early Learning Coalition of North Florida YouTube page. It's free and you will get to see lots of great educational videos. Thanks for watching.